Landscaping can be an overwhelming field to venture into. Whether you're a novice or a seasoned professional, the array of machines, tools and attachments can be very overwhelming. So in this video, Rhinox have put together the top five attachments that we think you should have for your excavator. Watch this video to find out more. Digging back is the first attachment we're going to talk about. It might seem obvious, but it's technically an attachment. So you can get a range of buckets available for a range of size of machines. So you get the narrow ones right up to the grading bucket. And obviously when you're landscaping, you might need to dig trenches, you might need to shift soil, you might need to grade. So obviously that's the most common used attachment on any excavator. Available with bolt-on teeth and with the bolt-on blade. So again, whether you're digging in hard ground or whether you're leveling out or you're having to have a clean bottom to a trench or something like that, then obviously you've got the options there on the digging buckets. So the second attachment I actually want to talk about is the quick hitch, which may not necessarily be classed as an attachment, however it is an essential tool to make sure you can change your attachments. We've got a list of five attachments here, plus all the different sizes of digging and grading buckets. We think the best thing to do is to speed up the bucket changes and the attachment changes between. Obviously, if you can do it quickly and efficiently, you're more likely to change your attachment. Plus, it reduces the wear and tear on your machine. You're not hammering pins in and out through the dipper arm or through the bucket. You're not risking damaging your bucket links or your tipping links. We just think the quick hitch is definitely attachment for somebody that is a changing attachments regularly. The next attachment I'm going to talk about is the what we call a micro trenching bucket or a deep dig bucket. Initially, this bucket was designed and developed for the utility market, but like all attachments really, it gets used in various different applications, but we are selling a lot of these buckets to landscapers now, like running small pipes, irrigation pipes, etc. Again, it's available in a range of sizes for the one and a half micros, one and a half, three tons, five tons. Um, and again, we can do it in a few different widths. And like always, as Rhinox, we try and set ourselves apart. On the standard 80 mil wide, we put the Unitus tip. Again, it's a very useful attachment, especially for landscaping now. If you're running small pipes, it's definitely a, a must have. The micro trencher bucket often gets confused with the next attachment, which I've got to talk about here, which is the ripper tooth. So they are both narrow attachments. However, there is a difference between them. So the micro trenching bucket is designed for digging. Like Terry mentioned, the utilities are laying pipes and cabling, whereas the ripper tooth itself is actually designed to be used before you start digging. So if the ground is hard or frozen, or if you're digging through concrete or rubble, the idea is you use the ripper tooth first, drag the attachment that is designed to be used with brute force through the ground, breaking up the surface or the aggregates, and then follow it up with an attachment like the narrow digging bucket or a micro trenching bucket. This next attachment is the rake riddle bucket. Um, we also do a land rake and a riddle bucket. So this is like in the middle, if you like. The rake riddle bucket has got closer tines and uh, thinner, generally speaking. It's, it's also shaped like a ditching bucket. And typically this would be used for like raking through the overgrowth first and also pulling out, I suppose you might call it rocks and bricks out of the fines, out of the soil. So it, has a, it does the same thing really as a riddle bucket. Obviously it's wider, so it's used more in like topsoil applications really. So just to clarify, the rake riddle bucket is a perfect landscaper's tool when you're sifting through topsoil and it's good for leveling out. You're taking out the sort of roots, small roots and things like that that come to the surface and the overgrowth. Um, land rake is more for sifting out when you're trying to get rid of trees and so on. And then the riddle bucket is more for going through rubble really, getting out the large stuff. So there you have it, what Rhinox think the top five attachments are for landscapers. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out more.